I'm always delighted to be with Saul Nuzis, who's been such a leader in the conservative movement and the Republican Party. Welcome to the Saul's Newsstand News Rewind for June 3rd, 2022. CBS News reports, Yellen admits she was wrong about inflation in 2021. Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen told CNN on Tuesday that she was wrong when she said last year that inflation only posed a small risk and wasn't likely to be a problem. Yellen made the comments to Wolf Blitzer after the host replayed clips of Yellen calling the risk of inflation small and manageable and said she didn't anticipate that inflation is going to be a problem. Federal officials called inflation transitory in the past, but since then, inflation has reached levels not seen in 40 years, with the Federal Reserve and policymakers struggling to bring it down. Yellen also said that inflation appears to be stabilizing, but warned that Russia's war on Ukraine could still have some volatile effects on the U.S. and global economy. An article from Just the News states, Stefanik Mullen introduced resolution to expunge post-January 6th Trump impeachment. House GOP Conference Chairwoman Elise Stefanik and roughly 28 other chamber Republicans are backing a resolution to expunge the second impeachment of former President Trump. Oklahoma Representative Mark Wayne Mullen previously introduced a similar measure on Trump's first impeachment which centered on the accusation that Trump was withholding military aid from Ukraine in exchange for politically salient favors. Stefanik, who is supporting the bill along with GOP House Conference Vice Chairman Mike Johnson said, The American people know Democrats weaponized the power of impeachment against President Donald Trump to advance their own extreme political agenda. And finally, NBC News reports, inside a Biden White House adrift. Biden is rattled by his sinking approval ratings and is looking to regain voters' confidence that he can provide the sure-handed leadership he promised during the campaign, sources close to the president say. Democratic leaders are at a loss about how he can revive his prospects by November when midterm elections may cost his party control of Congress. Speculation is churning that Biden could shake up the West Wing staff, although that's not about to happen right away. Multiple people close to the White House have said that they've heard that Chief of Staff Ron Klain will depart at some time after the midterms, and one has heard him discuss leaving. Amid a rolling series of calamities, Biden's feeling lately is that he just can't catch a break. A person close to the president said, Biden is frustrated. If it's not one thing, it's another. We'll let Joe Biden have the last word. Today, we're announcing the United Airlines has agreed to offer cargo space for Kendall NutriCare uh, for the delivery of 3.7 bottles of the formula here in the States. And that concludes your Saul's Newsstand News Rewind for June the 3rd, 2022. For more political news faster, visit saulsnews.com.